Terminate an RJ45 connector can be very simple. You can learn it quickly with my method. First, use the stripping notch of the cable crimper to strip the network cable. Place the network cable into the stripping notch. Leave about three to four centimeters exposed here. Be careful when pressing, just press lightly on the cable. Do not press too hard. If pressed too hard, it can easily damage the inner wires. Then twist it around twice like so and strip off the outer jacket of the network cable. Once the jacket is stripped, cut off this end. You don't need to memorize complex wire sequences to connect the network cable. Just follow my method. First, separate the network cable from left to right in the order of orange, blue, green, and brown. Once separated, separate each pair of the network cable. Once separated, place the white wire of each pair in front. Then, swap the blue, white, and green, white wires. Move the blue, white wire here. Move the green, white wire here. Then, use your thumb to hold the wires tightly. Then, gather them together. Straighten the wires carefully and ensure the network cable is straight. Otherwise, it won't fit into the connector layer. Next, cut off the excess network cable. Only leave about 1.5 centimeters here. Cut off the excess, making sure it's cut flat. When cutting, hold it tightly with your fingers to prevent it from fraying. Then insert it into the connector. Push it all the way in. From the side, make sure the wires are pushed all the way in. Place it into the crimping slot of the cable crimper. Insert it this way, then flip it over and press down firmly. You can press it a few times and that's it. A network cable connector is easily connected, isn't it very simple? This part fits snugly. The network cable won't lose this way. The other end of the network cable is connected the same way, following the same wire sequence. The connector is attached using my method 100% past the flute test and won't impact the network speed.